Mark's video. No. Oh no! <laughs> Yo, 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 welcome back to a special episode today. We are in Paris. Paris today. We're gonna to be doing like a sight, sightseeing tourist run. So we're gonna, well, stick with us and we'll uh, go past some famous landmarks. And we'll sort of do, how many landmarks we got? Five. Five, I think five landmarks. We might have a special sixth one, it depends. So uh, for our start of the run, where are we at? So we're in the path of Jardin du Luxembourg and they're about to pass the palace of Luxembourg. Okay, so here it is. Ooh, there it is. Woohoo! Yeah, so we've got a nine mile, 8.9 mile course and we're going to stop at various stops along the way. And uh, tell you look, tell you some facts and say how we find Paris running. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> We're gonna set off now and stay tuned to where we go. Ready? And we're off. Whoop. So I know we said we could do um, we we'll do the tourist stops, but you can't help not look at the other other bits of uh, local agriculture. Agriculture? That's what it's called, isn't it? Architecture. Uh, Architecture. This is the Fountain Saint Michael. Fountain Saint Michael. Nice, and it's absolutely nice. Can't stop for too long. We've got to get on. Nice. Right, see you there. And we have number one in our sights. Oh, of course the bus gets in the way. Oh. So, we are currently at the Notre Dame Cathedral. I think they put a, um, they put like a grandstand on just so you can see over the top of the uh, of the works that are going on obviously it's still being developed from that fire that happened a, um, a few years ago uh, so it's going to take them a while to do that but as long as you're on the grandstand you can just see over the top but what an absolutely lovely piece of uh, architecture architecture is it agriculture uh, it's oh. definitely architecture it is yeah so that yeah, still goes strong if that's like our, uh, our best stuff it's surprisingly quite quite warm out here. Um, yeah, what do you make of it? This is Ad's first time in Paris, so we're gonna get a raw reaction of. Uh, no, it's very like surreal. It's very. Um, very very what? Impressive. 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 So this is stop number one. How far have we done so far? Just right. under a mile. Just under a mile. Yeah. See, so loads of stops on this net uh, on this trip. The next one, I think. We're going to head down to the River, river Seine, or River Seine, um, and we're going to go all the way down the river. Right, if you're from France and you know France, you know where we go next, but, right, but stay tuned to the next one. All oh, the police are out in force today. Oh, don't know what's going on. But, right, crossing the bridge, we're about to get on. The river. Green oh, green mud bar. Loads and loads of steps. Here we are. The river sand for river song. Not sure if we're not bike lane, eh? I always prefer this. Well, reference this as the. Uh, the Paris Thames. That's how I. That's how I remember it. We can just see the tip of our next destination. We'll see you when we get there. I'm 
doing that on the best surface. Loads of uneven cobblestones. I think loads of trees were got planted here, and then the roots grew out and affected the uh, the cobblestones. So it's very rough. Definitely not a uh, not a flat for one for the feet. But we're getting there. How how far we done? 1.7 miles in. Yeah, we're getting closer to uh, destination number two. So, let's see what this is about. Had enough of the cobblestones. It's on a flat one there. It is really rough along this uh, River Seine. I mean, there are quite a few runners along it. I don't know. But they're now very, very uneven and cobbly. But if it works, it works. Better running along the main road, I guess. Not quite the river Thames. Look how cool this bridge is. You think that's part of the uh, stability for it, but. Oh. oh, no. No chance. We've got, we've got too much running to do then, and to run up some, run up some steps. Oh, it's a good job we crossed. Look how, look at it. Normal roads. Oh, oh, oh. That's better. That's better than that cobblestone the other side. Not long, not long till we get to uh, where we want to be. How many miles we done? Two point two four. Two point two four. So what's that? Two point two. Oh, I've done a quarter of the run already. Nice. Right. See you there. Right, the Alexandra the Third Bridge. Very nice piece. Let's get the picture. Got to get the picture in, isn't you? What's your bid? Sin over there. That wasn't our original second destination, but we're heading over there and see what it is. Where's she gone now? Tourist being an absolute tourist. It's a nice day for it. Just a little bit of a wind. Uh, it's not raining. And uh, yeah, it's keeping us cool. Almost at this palace, I think. So we have to see what this, what this palace is saying and who it belongs to. So here, it's not a palace, it's actually a war museum for the French. You see the big artillery cannons. Yes. We'll see how much it is to get in, see if it's on the outside. It looks like there's a queue actually to get in, so I don't know, we have to have a look online I think, but very interesting. Going down there. Oh, what's the watch saying? Watch the saying turn right, but I think we're gonna go down there. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're off. Oh, straight across. Straight across, straight across, quick, quick, quick. <laughs> And have a look where we are. The Tour de Eiffel. There she is. Eiffel Tower. In all of her beauty. Oh, oh we're at the back of that grandstand. There's a big grandstand there. I think they're setting up for the um, for Summer Olympics. There's a lot of building works going on. There it is. We'll get around the front. We'll get around the front and then we'll tell you what it's like around the front. Ah, and here we are, that's a better view. Not beyond the grandstands now. Woohoo! That's much better. Right, so that's destination number two. Now this is getting a pick. She is. First time in Paris for Ads to see, and she's absolutely loving it. It is a. I, I, I personally think this is the most recognisable building 
in the world, I think. It's definitely, yeah. It's de yeah, I mean, you see it, you don't not know what it is. Quite peaceful here this morning. I mean, obviously you've got all the fences around, so if you are coming for the, uh, if you are coming before the Summer Olympics, be prepared not to go on the grass. And uh, very much, um, setty uppy is the, is the words I'd use. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna head through and we're gonna see if we can get a picture in the middle of the road. <laughs> We've seen people do it yesterday, so. Right, let's go. Oh, that's video. Sorry. Oh no! <laughs> so, just walking down now. And we actually, we've been debating whether to take the steps all the way to the top because it's £10 cheaper, but we're trying to figure out how long it's going to take us. Uh, it's quite high. How long do you reckon that takes? I reckon about 40 minutes. 40 minutes? Ago. Yeah. We're going to strive it as well. If we do it, we're going to strive it just for the elevation. Yeah, because we are all about the kudos. We'll let you know if we do that in the end. She is tall. Yeah, we're looking for tickets to get up. Um, look at look, look at the queue. Look at the queue. And I to, I'm not sure if uh, if that's even fa uh, fast track or not. Not a clue. But uh, we might do it. We'll see. We'll see what the queues are saying. See what the prices are saying. But yeah, we're definitely going to strive for it. See what I mean about these queues? All to get into the Eiffel Tower. Is it worth it? Is it really? Is it really worth it? Your whole day. We've got to find some fast track tickets because it goes all the way back. Oh yeah, so yeah, definitely gonna find some fast track ones because I'm not queuing in that. There's our picture done. We're in the middle of the road, I knew we would get one. Woohoo! Nice. Eiffel Tower, done. On to the next location. Oh. More steps. Oh, so many steps. Oh, hang Absolutely hanging. Ooh, almost at the observatory. Seemingly quite quiet. Load of professional photographers out. On a Friday morning. Uh, quite peaceful. So we're almost at our next tourist point. How many miles are we on now? 4.5 miles and uh yeah so just over halfway of the um of the tourist run we're both feeling good actually we basically need a week more than anything else probably about 400 meters in front of our next destination can you guess what it is and here we are where are we arc de triomphe here we go the arc de triomphe Famous for famous for its Tour de France roundabout. I think this is this is the busiest roundabout in the world. What do you make of it? It's very. I did not realise it was that big to be fair. It's very massive, and I wouldn't want to drive around this roundabout. No. Too stressful. It's absolutely yeah. It's absolutely <laughs> chaos. So it was built uh, to remember those uh, soldiers that died in the revolutionary and napoleonic napoleonic wars it's got all the names uh, inscribed inside and i believe i'll just uh, be correct there that it's got uh, a few of the names of world war ones and two in there as well but absolutely magnificent building and you can actually go on top as well you can actually go on top of there i think it's about 18 euros uh, to get on top We've got the Eiffel Tower and Arc de Triomphe to go up. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna head down the Champs Elysees now. And what's at the very end of the Champs Elysees? You wanted to go there at first. The Louvre. Oh, the Louvre. Yeah. I'm, still, I'm still learning. Still there, still learning. <laughs> but we're gonna go past the well down the Champs Elysees. We're gonna look for some running shops because Ads wants the A6 Paris shoes. Uh, just out in the UK now, but if we can get them here, then it's a bit more special if you get them in Paris, I guess. <laughs> right, Chancellor Lise, we're coming for you. We've found some toilets. 
was running. Yeah, hopefully they're free. But uh, right, we'll see when we come out. <gasps> no, nope, not free. Had to pay two euros and we didn't even go. We haven't got euros on us. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to hold them in, unfortunately. Having to go to McDonald's for the toilet. That has to be done, doesn't it? Hopefully, you have to pay for these ones. Still have to pay a euro at McDonald's. Yeah, we're all all out of Wii now. So, we're going to crack on down the Champs Elysees, do a bit of a time lapse all the way down, and then uh, we'll meet you at our final destination. So just coming from the shops now, nice little, nice little path for the bottom before we hit <laughs> the loop. Uh, she definitely fancied me. But... <laughs> almost there now, almost at destination, but almost at the final destination. Been a good run so far. What mile we are? Almost at six. Almost at six, so. I think we're going to be coming up just shy of the oh, metal route. I think we have been walking a little bit to, just to see the sights. I don't know, we're not there yet. But, no, nah, let's, uh, let's get to it. Here she is. Whoa, watch the bike. Whoa. Woohoo. Right, we're at the start of the gardens, I guess, the Louvre. And we found this masterpiece. I can't find any info on it immediately here, uh, but absolutely stunning. A bit of gold with the uh, with the copper green. Really beautiful. Right, you ready for our last bit? Yeah. Last bit to the Louvre. Go through the gardens. She's really excited to see the Louvre. She hasn't stopped banging on all day. No, yeah, <laughs> right, let's get there. We finally make it to the Louvre. And finally make it to the Louvre. First impressions, Zads? Yeah, it's really impressive. I was very busy though, so I think if we do visit, it have to be an early one, I reckon. Yeah, definitely an early one. I mean, you can tell the crowds are building already. I mean, I've heard that even at, even if you get here at seven, there's there's crowds. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see, we're here for, we're here for a few days, so um, we'll see if we can get in. See if we can get any early bird tickets or something. I think that concludes our running, our running thing. Yeah, we're gonna get a cross on <laughs> and a hot chocolate. We're gonna head head into head into a little town just over there, and then we're gonna get a hot chocolate and a cross on. Look what we found. <laughs> we're after the cross on. I think they're inside, so we'll buy one, and then we'll. You know how it is. Oh my God. Look at the size, the size of your head. <laughs> mm, right. Nice. How's that chocolate as well? Mm, chocolate's banging. Easy. Right. Sweet. Well, we've got a hot chocolate and croissant, so that is the end of the video, I think. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Right, so be kind. Be happy. Run, run well. well.